OK, so you want to combine formula and text in a single cell. In my scenario, I'm comparing the sales values with the sales target. Now, the formula here, very simply, is the sales value minus the sales target. And I'd need to lock that reference to F1 because I'm copying the formula down. And there are the results. So what I want to do initially is prefix these results with some text. Now I'll show you the first method you could employ. If I click just after the equal sign and I write compared to target. So that is the text I want to appear to the left of the formula result. Now I will need to put the text in quotation marks and I'm gonna leave a space after that colon. And then I need to put in an ampersand symbol. But shift and seven on your keyboard. Don't need the space after the ampersand. And if I press enter, you can see that it prefixes the result of the formula with that text. Now, if I copy this down, you can see although it's doing that, there is now a problem with the formatting of the numbers. I've lost the currency format. Now, to resolve that problem, I need to put my formula within the text function. And this allows me to specify a format for this value. Now, the first argument within the text function is value. So that's the value you want to format. And then format text is the format that you want to use. But for the moment, I'm just going to put two quotation marks in and close the bracket. Now, we've lost the number altogether at the moment. But what we're going to do is look at how Excel formats currency values. And the way we can do that is just right click in this cell and then go to Format Cells. Make sure currency is selected in this category list and then go down to Custom. And this is how Excel formats currency values with this syntax here. So I'm going to copy it, then cancel out of this. Then go back into my formula and between those speech marks, I'm going to paste in that syntax for the currency format. Now, if I copy this down, you can see all the currency values are formatted correctly. Now, if you wanted the text to the right of the number, that would be easy enough to achieve. I would cut this from its current position, get rid of that ampersand, put an ampersand to the right of my formula, and then paste in my text, I can get rid of the colon there and that space, and maybe put a space in front of the C. If I copy that down, and you can see it's changed the position of the text. Now, if you don't like using this ampersand symbol, which is the character that combines the text or concatenates the text, then you can use a function to do the same thing. Now, the function you want to use is concat or concatenate. Now, concatenate is an old function. So if you have concat, use that. But it doesn't matter which function you use. The process is exactly the same. So I'm going to go for concat. And in the text one argument, I'm going to paste my text. Then I put a comma in, and then I perform my calculation. So B2 minus F1 locked. Now if I close the bracket, you can see it's joined the text and the number together in one cell. But then I also need to format the number as currency. So I'm using the text function for that. Put two quotation marks in. Now I need another close bracket at the end of this. This bracket here closes the bracket for text. This bracket here closes the bracket for concat. So now I need to copy that currency format. I right click on the cell, I go to Format Cells, make sure currency is selected here, then go to Custom, select this syntax for the currency format and copy it. Go back into my formula and paste that format between these two speech marks. You can see that works just like it did in the first example. Now in the third example, we want different text depending on whether the sales target has been achieved or not achieved. First thing to do is to perform the calculation.
Then we're going to open up the Format Sales dialog box. So with the sales selected, right click Format Sales. Make sure currency is selected in this category list. But where it says negative numbers, select this last option here, which shows the number in red. Then go to Custom. Now what I want you to notice is the syntax in this type box. And in particular, I want you to notice this semicolon. Everything to the left of the semicolon is the format we're applying to positive values. And everything to the right of the semicolon is the format we're applying to negative values. So at the moment, you can see the negative values are going to be displayed in red. Now for positive values, we want to prefix the formula with the text over target by. So in quotation marks, we type that text. Now for negative values, we want to prefix the formula with the text under target by. So I'm typing this to the right of that semicolon. Now let's click on OK and see what effect this has. So you can see it's successfully done that. Positive values have over target by, negative values have under target by. The only thing I'd like to change is where we have a zero value. I don't want it to say over target by, I want it to say met target exactly. So I'm going to go back into format sales. Now to specify format for zero values, you need to put a semicolon to the right of the existing syntax that we're using. And then we'll add the text met target exactly. Now we don't need any numbers to be displayed for zero values. We just want the text to be displayed. So we're ready to click on OK. And you can see that change has been made. Now I'm going to go back to the first example we looked at. And I'm going to try to perform a calculation on these numbers. Maybe I just want to sum them up. And you see I get naught as my result. And that's because these values are now text values. It'd be the same if I tried to do the sum in the second example. I get zero as my result. But if I go to my third example, these values are still numbers. So if I try and sum these up, I get a result. Now for this result, I would want to remove the text. And I can do that easily by going up to this drop down list and choosing currency in the list. So that's the added advantage of using this method. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.